Good morning, Grade Six. Welcome back to Grade Six Mathematics class. Hope you all are doing great today. So, in this class, we'll learn how we can construct a perpendicular bisector of a given line segment. So, what do you mean by a perpendicular bisector? A perpendicular bisector is a perpendicular line to a given line which divides the given line into two equal parts. So, let's see the steps. So, here we have a question. Draw the perpendicular bisector of a line segment AB. So, the first step is to draw line segment AB. So, with your ruler and pencil, first draw line segment AB. You can draw a line L of any length. Mark two points A and B. So, here we have line segment AB. Now, the next step is to take the compass. Keep the point of the compass at one of the endpoints of the line segment. So, I am keeping it at point A now. Choose a radius which is more than half of the length of AB. So, here I am choosing a radius which is more than half of the line segment AB. With A as the center, let's draw an arc, one above the line and one below the line. So, here we have drawn two arcs, one above line segment AB and one below line segment AB with A as the center. We have to repeat the process with B as the center. Let's do that now. So, now keep the pointer of the compass at point P. So, now with B as the center, we have to draw arcs, one above the line segment AB and one below the line segment AB. So, now we have drawn two arcs with B as the center. You can see the two arcs above the line segment AB in the set and the two arcs below the line segment AB in the set. So let's name the points of intersection as P and Q. So here we have P and here we have Q. Now let's join the points P and Q using the ruler or the straight edge. Align your ruler properly then join the points. So now we have joined the points P and Q. You can see it is a perpendicular to the line segment AB and it divides the line segment AB into two equal parts. So such a perpendicular line is called the perpendicular bisector of the given line segment. So this distance here, let this point be O, the length of AO and length of OB will be equal. So, I hope this is clear to you. Now, let us see a different example. Draw a circle of radius 2.5 centimeter, draw its diameter AB and construct its perpendicular bisector. So, here you have a few steps to do. First, you have to construct the circle, then draw its diameter and then you have to draw a perpendicular bisector to this diameter AB. So, let us first construct the circle. So, first step, let us mark a point O here, this is the center of the circle. Now, the radius is given as 2.5 centimeter. So, using the ruler and the compass, let us measure the radius and it is equal to 2.5 centimeter. Take the compass, keep the pointer on the 0 mark, measure 2.5 centimeter from the ruler, set aside the ruler, keep the pointer on O. without disturbing the radius. Rotate the compass and complete the circle. So, right now we have a circle with radius 2.5 centimeter. So, if radius is equal to 2.5 centimeter, what would be the diameter? It will be 2 times the radius that is equal to 5 centimeter. Now, using your ruler, you can draw the diameter of the circle. So, align the ruler properly and draw a diameter of the circle. So, here we have the diameter of the circle and let this be point A and let this be point B. So, here to this diameter we have to draw a perpendicular bisector. So, let us follow the steps to construct the perpendicular bisector. So, keep the pointer of the compass at point A. Now, AO is the radius which is 
half the diameter or the midpoint of this line segment AB or the diameter AB. So since O represents the midpoint of AB, we have to draw a perpendicular passing through O, which is the center of the circle. So we have to choose a length which is more than AO or OB or the radius of the circle. So choosing a radius more than the radius of the circle, now we have to draw intersecting arcs. So with A as the center, we have drawn an arc and do the same with B as the center. Drawing another arc, set aside the compass, now we have a point of intersection. So let this point be M. So here we have point M. Now use the ruler to join points M and O. Align the ruler properly and join points M and O. So here we have the perpendicular bisector MO or OM to the diameter AB of the circle. So this line segment MO or OM is a perpendicular bisector of AB, the diameter of the circle. So this perpendicular line bisects or divides AB into two equal parts AO and OB and AO and OB are the radii of the given circle. So children, I hope this is clear to you. That's all for today. You have to go through this topic once again. This is given in page number 211 under the heading construction of the perpendicular bisector of a line segment. And then you'll be ready to work out the questions from question number 5 to question number 12 of exercise 14.4. There is also another question given under the life skills section. Please go through that as well and do accordingly. Once you are done with all the answers, please do take a picture and send us routines. So see you all in the next class with a new topic. Till then, bye.